Greetings to one and all, it's your old buddy Jay here coming at you with another episode of Countermeasures Game Changer. Now today I would like to talk about Far Cry and specifically Far Cry 6, which is an action-adventure first-person shooter game, which is developed by Ubisoft Toronto and published by Ubisoft. Um, it's the sixth installment in the Far Cry series and uh, yeah, I've been playing quite a lot of this and I'm nearly finished, I've got a couple of hours to go and and I just thought it was time to talk about it because Far Cry is one of those games that I've, you know, the Far Cry franchi franchise is one of those uh, series that I keep dipping in and out of and I always enjoy them when I play them. Um, I will just talk a little bit more about the setting on the, and the characters uh, for Far Cry 6. So um, this takes place uh, in 2021 in the fictional uh, island called Yara, um, which is meant to be part of Cuba, uh, but it doesn't exist. It's obviously just a completely made up um uh, made up countries sort or of based on cuba um it is uh, run by dictatorship by el presidente who is called anton castillo uh and the uh you know the big figure the big actor in this game is um obviously um i'm gonna say this wrong Gian giancarlo Esponi es esposito it's the guy who was in Breaking Bad, who was the big bad guy. Uh, and he's in this sort of pretty much playing himself, which he does in you know most of these games. Um, and yes, you play as a uh, Yaren rebel who is called uh, Danny Roja. And uh, yeah, that's basically the setup for the game. And your mission is to you know overthrow the dictatorship and to uh, you know just basically get your country back. Um, you know, you're living in a kind of militant state. Uh, and as you can see, you know, the early kind of mission here this is the very first sort of you know where you meet your a couple of friends and then you you have to sort of do a little bit of stealth uh through the city to try and escape um you know it's you know a nice little tutorial that's built into the game and uh, you know that's something that far cry does quite well which you know they they kind of tend to run through all the basics they don't assume you know anything because you could be coming into these these games you know from afresh um and you know there have been six iterations uh the original far cry uh came out i believe on pc uh you know and it was something that us console game players you know game user game uh, you know console users <laughs> uh could only dream of back in the day because you know with the ps1 and you know uh, they, they they didn't have the capacity to run these kind of massive open world games um so it was a dream to be able to even think about having a game like this on, on a console and now there have been uh six iterations i don't think the first Far Cry has come to a console. I could be wrong. Um, I know Far Cry 2 did. That's the one I played um, on the PS3 initially. That's the first one I ever played. Um, and I didn't really get on very well with it. The Actually, the AI was a bit broken in that game. So no matter what settings you had on, whether it was hard or easy, they, they made it incredibly difficult to get through checkpoints and, and things. And, you know, I tried and tried again to, to start that game and, and get through it. And I played the first two or three hours over and over and just never really got into it. Um, and then the third one came out and that's the one that was really successful um, that had the the big bad guy called Vass and you were you were stuck on an island and you basically had to overcome his um, you know him running this island and that was very good then the follow-up to that was the uh, Far Cry 4 and that was with a guy called Pagan Min again it was kind of a dictator running a small you know sort of small country that you had to overthrow um, and then there was Far Cry 5 which I actually started and started again about three times once on the PC and then um, excuse me twice on the uh, on the PlayStation and I found it really difficult to get into um, even though I like the premise which was basically you're sort of fighting the hillbillies uh, and and you know these kind of crazy um, religious sects uh, out in the kind of American uh, landscape and, and I enjoyed that very much and you know as I sort of stuck with it actually that game uh, I, I think it might be one of my favorites um, because the characters in it were so good you had to fight like a crazy hillbilly sister and there was this whole thing where they were they were um, you know they were they were growing all these drugs that were like hallucinogens so they were trippy moments in the game and things like that so I, I did really enjoy that so then fast forward to uh to october of this year and uh, this game comes out and you know it's more far cry so you are um you know in this in this country of yara basically trying to take back um 
you know all of these different uh, locations and it's one of those things as well it's an ubisoft map you know so when you look at the map you're kind of like oh it doesn't look that big and then you zoom out and you realize that it's like bigger than earth you know there's so much to do and all of these things popping up all over the place uh you know on your map you've got all these little icons popping up like you know you can take this checkpoint here you can burn this chemical lab here you know you can, you can go into this area where there's an army and you can take on the army and stuff like that and you know i think it's it's good they are refining the game a little bit more every time and i do think that's a real positive um you know that the the main the main thing is you know you, you you're just clearing areas um you know when you're playing on the, the story and you're doing the main um the main quests it's much kind of like you know go here fetch this um, there's always a quest which is, uh, you know, um, there's a vehicle that needs picking up and you can't damage it on the way back. You know, there's always a mission where you have to go and destroy a, a drug plantation. There's always a mission where, um, you know, you have to uh, take over a castle that's been taken over by the bad guys and then that becomes your base. Or it's a petrol station or, you know, in this case, it's a, um, a, a sort of research plant, a scientific research plant. Um, so yeah and it is good fun and every time you play these games they get better and better i mean far cry 2 the gunplay was all over the place uh and then 3 really refined it and made the, the minute to minute gameplay much more fun uh, and a lot of kind of parkour elements were brought into it so you could sprint and leap over things and climb up the side of buildings really easily which i think is you know something that's really important in these games it's something that assassin's creed has always been uh, a big fan of you know and has improved that sort of side of things being able to hop up buildings and use the environment to your advantage when you're fighting people uh, and that's something that they're introducing into Far Cry and it's getting better and better each time so I do think from that perspective uh, yeah this is an improvement on all of the games before it um, I did I, I think I've got a little bit of fatigue because I, I, I find that like doing these constant missions where you're just clearing areas clearing areas as fun as they are um, I've done five you know four full games of that now and it's getting a little bit weak now with this one uh which they didn't do with far cry 5 they actually um included a little bit more of a backstory so you've got your main character danny who you can choose to be you know a boy or a girl and that boy can have like a girl's voice or a, or a boy's voice so there's a whole kind of like you know the whole non-binary um sort of options there you can really create your character you have the ability to um upgrade your character so um you know they get like a rucksack uh, which is built by you know one of the um, other rebels that shoots rockets so you you go from first person you zoom out to third person and it shoots shoots rockets everywhere and just destroys the local area so you know they're really introducing different weapons there's a weapon that um you know is created because it's all kind of like you know you're meant to be the rebels all the all the weapons are a little bit more kind of um sort of homemade if you like which i, I quite like there's there's one where you've got like a cd player i think you're listening to like ricky martin and you're shooting cds at people and restarting the ricky you know Vida, living the vida loca song again and again so there's there's some cool stuff like that that they've included which is really fun um i just feel that like i think my, my mistake was that i i recently played far cry 5 and got really into it and enjoyed it um and then i picked this up not you know i i, I finished assassin's creed and then i came back to this um and started started playing this and i feel like i've got a little bit of kind of map fatigue if i'm totally honest i'm a little bit of clear a little bit bored of clearing checkpoints um you know i'm a little bit bit a little bit bored of, of kind of you know um sort of just trying to topple a dictator if you like which probably you could argue is like 90 percent of games that we play these days but actually in ubisoft case it's a pretty much kind of cut and dried um sort of formula that they stick to every time you know it it, it does feel even though that the kind of um the mechanics in the game are better it does feel like a reskin of far cry 5 if i'm totally honest you know you're still destroying kind of drug labs you're still trying to topple a dictator and you know as this goes on you know and, and also you have to win over areas so you know a lot of the missions that you're doing in the main story are trying to get other rebels to join your cause so and you do that by completing missions for them and i think that that's something that you know is quite um is quite common in these games and you know again they've done it really well if you haven't played any of the other games then this will be amazing you know um i thought far cry 5 looked really good when they did the patch they changed you know 60 frames a second and upscale to 4k it was really really good and again this game looks beautiful the draw distance is amazing um the quality of the graphics are amazing so you know all of the build and the textures um the time that people have taken into all the art direction of this stuff the illustration that's gone into it the the 3d modeling you know it's just great 
And again, as you can see here, like, you know, you have a whole load of weapon management, which, you know, is an essential part of Far Cry because it changes the way you might approach. You know, as the games have gone on, they've got better and better at doing stealth. And I think that that's something that's 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 good because in the past, you'd kind of be stealthy for a little bit and then uh, it would all go, you know, you'd, you'd just make one wrong move or the AI wouldn't quite understand what you were doing. So it would spot you through a building or something and then that's it. It would just all go to hell and you'd, you'd just start kind of shooting. Whereas now I feel like the stealth is a little bit better um, and as you can see in my little chap there I think his name's Guapo which I think means handsome um, you do have uh, assistants you know um, kind of teammates in this uh, I can't remember what they're called now um, but they basically there's like a, a, you know a crocodile and you've got a little chap called um, uh, Chirizo who's like a little dog and he can he can spot em enemies for you and you know there's a whole load of different animals that can assist you while you're, you're approaching you know different um, environments to kind of take over etc etc so that's quite fun um, I will say that while the gameplay with the weapons is very good um, the, uh, you know, the um, the version of Far Cry 6 that I purchased came with like, you know, some kind of weapon starter kit. In fact, there it is. It's a, it's this little kind of James Bond pistol, like a, a Walther PPK or whatever it is. Um, it's so overpowered that I've never needed to really use anything else. Like I've, I'm changing weapons here, doing all this different stuff. But the truth is, is that I could do all of this with my little James Bond pistol, you know, which is because uh, it's so overpowered that like, you know, from day one, I have never had to worry about the fact that I can do a headshot with it from miles away um, or that I can, you know, take people out with it silently. Um, you know, all of this stuff where I'm shooting with machine guns and that, it's it's really for my enjoyment and not necessarily for completing the game in the most efficient way. So I should just switch to pistol and just take everybody else out, which kind of detracts a little bit from the game. And I find that there are some weapons in this game as well that are, you know, you, you, some weapons you can get and you can do add-ons and put all the, the kind of sights on them, the sniper, um, you know, the sniper sights and all that kind of stuff and that's cool because you're building your own weapons and it's yours it's your experience but there are also weapons that you can pick up which are all kind of pre-made which you cannot edit you can't change them and switch them out because they want them to be like a fixed build and that's fine but as soon as you get any of those they're so op compared to the ones that you've been building that you never go back to the ones that you've been building you know i think that that's an oversight i think they should have ditched all the pre um you know the pre-set uh, weapons and just had you building your own ones because that way it will be much more personal to you you know when you get a new site it matters when you when you get a new kind of extended magazine it matters whereas with this it's like well i don't need to worry too much about it because in five minutes i'm going to pick up another weapon which is more powerful than anything else and i'll use that and then i'll pick up another weapon somewhere down the line that's more powerful than anything else and i'll use that so the whole weapon build side of this feels a bit broken to me um, so yeah, that's some that's that that is definitely a complaint in this one is that they have made the, the weapons way too OP. Um, I mean, generally, uh, I, you know, I think it was, um, you know, it was a, originally this game was meant to come out in February uh, earlier this year. I'm glad it didn't because I think that they had time to kind of polish it. Um, and, you know, they, they have done a good job with it. And I feel like the story is good. They've done have made more of an effort to make you feel like you're included in this kind of, um, you know, rebel band and all that kind of stuff. So I do feel that like they, uh, you know, that the stories and the writing behind it is getting better. But, you know, you're doing the same old stuff. Oh, yeah. And also here you can see the AI. I was broken for a minute there because it couldn't find me even though I was just ducked down just behind those steps that does happen sometimes you know or you'll be like clearing a camp and there'll be like 20 guys there you'll take out 19 and there'll be one guy just you know you, you can't complete the mission because there'll be one guy who's just like hooked up stuck on a door or he's stuck at the top of a building or something and you can't move move out of that area for some reason so you know there is a little bit of that I mean maybe as time goes on with all these games they'll get patched out um, I'm a little bit bored of patches if I'm completely honest can you just sell me the game that, that I bought? <laughs> you know, I want to play it. If, if I want to play it on day one, I want it to be the best experience I can. I don't want to think that, you know, if I just wait six months or a year, that actually this game will be much, much better. I, I just feel like that's that's a letdown to me. I mean, if it's not ready, don't don't release it, you know. Um, so I'm, I'm not being too hard on this game. Uh, you know, I'm trying not to be too hard on this game because it is a really, really good experience. I would recommend it. The gameplay is good. The mechanics are really good. All the art direction, I said it's really good the voice acting is fine you know i mean it's like all these things um if you're redoing missions the you know the the repetition of what people are saying gets a little bit boring after a while some of the stuff that you say is a little bit rep, you know there's a bit of repetition i think like if they say it once or twice fine but then kind of like you know program it into your um 
you know into the way that these games work and they know that you know potentially you've done this mission three or four times you keep hearing the same dialogue all the time it gets a little bit you know a little bit boring um aside from that you know um i i, I do think it's quite good i mean here you can see there is a fail state um if you're playing with other people i should probably mention the multiplayer you can play this in co-op um, so if you know somebody that's got it, you can you can hook up and you can play together, and that's quite cool. So you can revive each other. Um, when you're downed, like I am here, whichever AI you're with, whether you're playing with the rebels or whether your little um, you know your little partner there is uh, is running around trying to help you, um, it just doesn't really work very well, and they never ever revive you in time. So it, it's kind of pointless that they can do that um, because they never quite make it. Um, so that is a little bit frustrating, but at the same time, I don't mind a fail state. At least it, it adds a little bit more tension. Um, I, you know, I did find a lot of this a little bit too easy. I kept changing the settings from like hard to extreme and all that kind of stuff. And I think on the really hard settings, it's virtually impossible. On the standard settings, it's just too easy. On the hard setting, it's just too easy. I felt that I was I was going through different missions and just kind of switching out the difficulty of that. So I think that is a problem that they haven't really balanced that very well. Um, apart from all of those things, uh, yeah, I did enjoy my time with it. Like I said, I've got a couple of hours to um, to get through the last of it and i feel like it has been a slog but that's my own fault i think you know far cry fatigue now i'm not ready to play one of these games anytime soon i think i've pretty much had enough of them all um but to be honest with you I still do have, um, you know, Assassin's Creed Valhalla to play, which I've been really looking forward to. But I think I'm going to have to give that a little break for a while. Otherwise, um, I'm just going to, you know, be, be even more worn out on these. Um, so I would say uh, try it out if you get the chance to. I probably would wait until it's in the sale. I don't think it's it's worth the £60 or whatever it was. I think this was, like, yeah, I think it was £59.99 um, on the PlayStation Store. I don't think it's worth that. Um, I think that, um, you know, it, it's not a, a massive, leap forward from the games that have come before it's only uh, episodes four and five you know installments four and five so i wouldn't say um you know go out and buy it brand new i think you know when there's a sale which there inevitably is like a week after you've um, you've bought these games um you know just wait for it then wait till it's like 25 or 30 quid and i think you'll have a fun time with it um, so my mark, my score out of 10, um, I think I'm going to give this a 7 out of 10. Um, and it probably would have scored higher had I have not been playing, you know, all the other Far Cry games so much. But at the same time, um, you know, they've given me a lot to do. So uh, when I'm in here doing lots of busy work, scooting all over the map, doing all these side missions and things, you know, after a while I'm going to start getting a little bit bored of that. So I think it's a good 7. I mean, I was going to give it a 6. I think it's a 7. Um, and yeah, I, I would recommend you give it a go, but only a discount. So uh, that is my review for Far Cry 6. Um, I hope it was informative and you liked it. Um, if you did, you know, hit the likes and all that kind of stuff. Um, leave a comment, etc. Uh, and uh, I'll see you on the next episode of Council Measures. So all that's left to say is um, be good, stay safe, and be kind to one another. Cheers.